good? No, just driving around. Thank you. This is, it's just so cool. <laughs> I barely made my own dinner. I'm so tired. The cycle of filming a YouTube video. Now that I'm working full time, makes things a lot harder. So basically, I film as much as I can, and then I start editing on Wednesday, Thursday, whenever I can get around to it. This week, was my computer was being weird, and I don't know, I didn't want to upload the footage, so I didn't get to start editing my video until Friday night and that means I edited my entire video so the one that you watched last week about the perfect view was edited all in one day or in one night I did it in about five hours so I stayed up until about midnight now it's uploading so today is Saturday it's uploading and I'm already filming for next week so I will say the part of making these videos that I dislike is filming. I hate filming. I hate taking a camera with me everywhere I go. I enjoy editing, but I think what I really like the most, I like seeing it come together and make a story. I'm going to leave this campsite. Shocker, right? But the problem is I have no idea where I'm going to go. Um, I'm thinking my general direction is going to be towards Phoenix. Sorry that Penny is whining in the background. We have not gone for a W-A-L-K yet. Um, please stop. Stop. It's like she can spell. Right now the problem is getting to Flagstaff because, um, wouldn't expect this. They're calling for 10 inches of snow. This is like karma for how bad I wanted to be stuck in the snow a couple weeks ago. Now I can't get out of it. So, and it's only on my drive days. Like, what the heck? I, I, I genuinely don't know where I'm going to go. Okay, now Charlie's whining too. We're going to take the dogs for a walk because I can't get anything filmed because Penny won't stop barking. So I'm going to put my boots on. You know the drill. Cute footage of my dogs running against the red dirt. And yeah, here we go. Can you wait five minutes, please? Five minutes. That's all I need. Oh my love You're such a fragile thing I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm it all And oh my love About the cold just yet. The trees haven't started to shed. Just feel the summer sun as it warms our bed. The dogs were pretty worn out by the time we got back to the van and in my opinion a dirty dog and a tired dog 
are a happy dog. So no complaints on my end. Time we got back, it was really time for us to leave. Actually, it was past time. And as I started to get everything ready to go, I realized I've never really talked about how much work goes into prepping the van to drive. So I filmed the entire process, which doesn't always take me this long, but if I've been staying somewhere for a while, then I like to get things out. I like to get comfortable and it is quite a process. The obvious things that have to get done are that I have to put everything outside of the van in the van. So I have to fold up the tarp that I put in front of my van that was very cheap and I don't expect it to last long, honestly. I put up my step stool. I have to put up the dog leads if I have them out. Um, things go in the back of the van so I have to make sure my window covers are put in place. I put the leads up. I have to put my ladder away. I have to make sure if I swapped out my water jugs that they are in place. I take my new lights down. By the way, I love them. If I use my go treads, whether that is to get unstuck or as leveling blocks, I have to first move the van and then put them back in the box. I would love to get one of the fancy carrying cases, so go treads, if you're watching, please send me one. Once everything externally is taken care of, then I make my way back inside of the van, and that means Penny has to come in from protecting the van from all of the predators outside. My first task inside of the van is filling up my diesel heater tank, and honestly, I cannot believe I'm going to show this, but I have possibly the most creative setup for my fuel tank. It is actually underneath my bed, and I use a tube. I don't really know what it is, but I obviously can't reach my gas tank all the way down there, so I stick it in there, and yeah, it's almost like a little extension. Um, I'm very well aware of the risk of spilling it, it hasn't happened, knock on wood, I hope it never does. I'm sure I'll be very regretful and remorseful if it does, but until that day, I'm gonna keep rocking out because it works well for me. I mean, I have one of the smallest fans out there, so I really had to make use of literally every square inch, and my heater was really the last thing I planned for. So, you do what you do, you know? Once that's done, I pick up everything off of the counters and start working on the floors. This includes shaking out my rug because I do have a vacuum, but not one that will work on carpet. I sweep my floor. This happens like three times a day anyways. Wipe down the counters, and once I'm done with that, everything is done for the most part, aside from like putting things away and strapping things down that don't need to move while we're driving. Once that's done, Penny takes one last look around to make sure we're still safe, and then I can close the doors and hit the road. Okay, so the van is about as clean as it's going to get, and my video is still uploading. It says it has an hour and 54 minutes left. I really don't want to wait that long, so I'm just going to keep my hotspot going while I drive, but it's already 1.20. I don't know where the day went, but it's gone. Instead of trying to go to Flagstaff today, this is probably gonna backfire, but I'm gonna go back into St. George tonight. I desperately need a shower in case you can't tell. Um, I might do some laundry, even though I'm really okay on laundry, but since it's a three-day weekend, it'll just save me some time from going into the city during the week. Get up early tomorrow and Maybe there's a different route I can take to Flagstaff that won't hit this snowstorm. I don't know. After I left the BLM land, I decided to go into Zion National Park because I'd never been before. And I had heard for a long time about the horrible wait lines getting into several of the national parks, but this was my first experience having to wait. If I wrote you a song, if I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change the oh. world? Yes, please. Good? No, just driving around. Thank you. I've seen about a million pictures of Zion, but I really, 
was speechless and still am. Driving into the main part of the park is kind of what I expected. Really jagged edges and sharp mountains. And then I had to go through a tunnel. It was over a mile long and I absolutely hate tunnels so much. Like can't describe how nauseous and claustrophobic and terrified they make me feel. But after I came out of the tunnel, that is when my jaw hit the ground and I, I still am struggling for words. If I got every word Perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper. Would it make any difference? Would it change for the better if I wrote you a poem? If I posted a letter? I mean, obviously people talk about this place all the time, but it literally looks like I drove my van to another planet. <sighs> I can't wait to come back when it's warmer. <gasps> Look at these frozen, <laughs> shriveled, snow-covered cacti. How funny. The best way that I can describe what Zion looks like is almost as if the wind threw around different layers of the earth and they got stuck there and frozen in time but there's no pattern to it it's all just all over the place literally like another planet It is a lot colder outside today than I thought it was going to be. So, I mean, I'm doing the best I can. It's not like I could have done this any other day with work, but this is, it's just so cool. <laughs> and I would love to stay longer and explore, but I'm getting really hungry and the rain is starting to pick up. So I think I am going to head back to the van and start heading into St. George and look for something to eat. I need to get groceries too. If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper. After leaving the park, I decided to stop and get some groceries. And when I entered the store, I was immediately humbled by the bright memories of class valentines. I walked down the aisle just to soak it in, and I'll be honest, the weird, sick, twisted side of me kind of missed elementary school holiday parties. Why weird, sick, and twisted, you might be wondering. Ask any elementary school teacher, and they will tell you how physically exhausting it is to organize materials, make plates, and keep kids calm all day when they know what's going to happen in their classroom at 1 o'clock. Ironically, I started to feel equally as exhausted to the former teacher version of myself, 
reminding me that I just traded one form of exhaustive chaos for another. Okay, I know I said I was going to go to the laundromat today. Mm, no. By the time I got groceries, I barely made my own dinner. I'm so tired. I just finished uploading the video for, well, when you watch this, it is currently Saturday night, the night before last week's video came out, so we're gonna call it a night and honestly I think I probably filmed enough today to make a whole video which is weird but I still really need a shower that didn't happen either oh well My general direction is going to be towards Phoenix. Sorry that Penny is whining in the background. We have not gone for a WALK yet. Um, please stop. Stop. It's like she can spell. Heck, I, I, I genuinely don't know where I'm gonna go. Okay, now Charlie's whining too. <laughs> genuinely don't know where I'm going to go, but... <laughs> Quit. 